Hey everybody, Dustin Bradley with Bradley Brothers. Today is Apache Junction Day. This is house number two. You pull up, you're gonna see there's one of these roundabout uh, driveways that you can pull in and drive all the way through. I like those. And then this house I think might have better views. I'd say it has better views than the last house. So you're gonna have to let me know in the comments below which house do you think has better views uh, at the end of the day, one, two, or three. This is house number two. This house is five bedrooms, four bathrooms, 3,357 square feet. Let's zoom in. Look at those views, wow. Do you like views? Would you like a house with views? Let me know in the comments below if you like views too. I really appreciate views. I think my favorite personally is Waterfront. So this house was built in 1961, but it's been completely remodeled. It looks great. Just like the last house was remodeled that we saw today, this house has been completely remodeled as well. It's got a new roof, new AC, whole interior has been trim, paint, texture, kitchen, counters, cabinets, everything. And then the real nice thing about this property for the right person is it has a 900 square foot casita or guest house. So you could have a mother-in-law move in, a father-in-law, or you could uh, rent it out. This house is one point, sits on 1.25 acres. Needs some work with the landscaping. Looks like it's on septic. And this house is listed at $689,000. Let's take a look at the property a little bit. Looks like, I believe this is part of their property too. This is one of the uh, entrances to the guest house right there. And it looks like the property line must end right here at this fence. So I do think all this is yours. If you enjoy this type of content, we shoot one to two of these a day. Lately it's been three. Today it's three again. Yesterday was two. But if you enjoy it, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our videos. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy the video. If you're watching this video, where do you live? Do you live in Arizona or do you live in a different state or country or where in the world do you live? Okay, so we're back to the driveway. Let's go check out the interior. Those, I mentioned it in the other video, but in case you didn't see it, those are the Superstition Mountains. Okay, so when we go in, you're gonna just walk right into the really family room, kitchen, kind of the open concept. You have several skylights throughout, which let a lot of natural light in. The fireplace is brick, it's been painted, it looks really modern. Feels like about eight foot ceilings. This house does get a lot of natural light. They painted the wood beams. And then right off of here, we have the primary bedroom. I like this bedroom a lot because it has the corner windows and those just let in tons and tons of light. Bathroom's been done, uh, redone very nicely as well. They ran the shower tile all the way up to the ceiling. Got this beautiful bathtub. Walk-in closet.
This is the luxury uh, vinyl planks. Here we have the white cabinets with the quartz countertops. Really light, really bright. Looks like they have it set up to put the dining room table there, which I think that would be a really good flow dining room table there. And then everybody's watching TV over here and enjoying the fireplace. Little small step down here. Ceiling gets a little shorter. We have French doors out to a patio area with great views from inside and outside. This is where your washing machine and dryer are gonna go in that closet. Here's bathroom number two in the main part of the house. And then over here, so on the other side we have the primary bedroom and then now on this side we have three more bedrooms. It's a nice size bedroom. Once again, that skylight lets a ton of natural light and it's great. Across from that, we have a third bedroom for the main house. That's a pretty small bedroom. And then the fourth bedroom, it's about the same size as the third. But once again, it has these corner windows. Let's check out the views. So you have to wake up to those views. That's nice. And then here is the final bathroom in the main portion of the house and then we'll go visit the guest house next once again they did a great job with the tile so this door leads us out to a little covered patio section this looks into that one bedroom in the house and then behind that is the guest house so there's a couple steps down but up and then this would be a cute little yard. You could do a lot of things with this. This is nice and it's fully uh, enclosed with the block wall that's been stuccoed, which is nice. This window, or this door over there, that's one that goes into the kitchen. And then uh, over there, there's a little concrete pad. Looks like it'd be perfect to put a hot tub. All right, so here's the guest house. This is gonna be a one bedroom place. We got this kind of little cutout section. Looks like they have it intended for a stackable washer and dryer. Got a small little kitchen. You throw your fridge right there. And then over here, let's think about the flow. Would this be, where would you put your couch and TV? And would you put your couch on these two walls and then your TV behind this door right there? Or would you, Probably what you'd have to do. I'm not sure. And then maybe kind of a table over here a little bit. Yeah, you'd have to get creative, but for one or two people, it's not going to be a big deal. Here is the bedroom. Oh, nice size walk in closet. What the heck? This connects. Okay, okay. So it connects through to the bathroom. Okay, that's ingenious, I like that. So if you have guests over, they don't have to go in your bedroom. They can access it right here, but you can still access it from your closet. That's nice. That is a nice touch in my opinion. Huh, yeah. It's fun going in all these houses because sometimes you're just surprised See something new every now and then that you haven't seen before. It's kind of cool. All right, well, hey, if you enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up down below. Hit that subscribe if you haven't. And then uh, this house is five bedrooms, four bathrooms, 3,357 square feet. It's built in 1961 originally, but it has been completely remodeled. I can tell this this area had grass prior at some point. It looks like they put uh, they've updated the uh, irrigation. So it's got a new roof, new AC, whole interior's been done, the bathrooms have been done. You got a concrete pad right here that'd be perfect for a hot tub. 
and uh, you have a guest house, one bedroom guest house. So if you need uh, a guest house, a casita, this would be perfect. It's listed at $689,000. If you have any questions, go down to the description. Our contact information is down there and I will link to the listing as well. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. I've got one more to do today.